Hi, I'm Bhavna Pandey. And I'm Chunky Pandey. This is Ritesh Deshmukh. Hi, this is Janilaya Deshmukh. And you're watching Bollywood Hangama. Bollywood Hangama. Bhavna Chunky, welcome to Bollywood Hangama. This is an interview that I'm very excited about. I always wanted to do this. Together. Thank you for having us, Rohit. Yes, We're very together. excited. I'm going to take you back. You all met at a nightclub in Delhi. Yeah. Tell me one thing. My question is different. My question is, were you around that time in your mind space and age where you were like, okay, I would like to be with someone? No, not at all. I was very young and Chunky at whatever age he was, I don't think he was in that mind space either. <laughs> were you? No, I don't know which We space always say in. that it was a nightclub, it was dark. I barely saw him well, and he was in glasses like he's wearing today. Yeah, so he huh. barely saw me. That's huh. how it happened. But it's not This generation has to understand this was a difficult time where there was no direct mobile phone, yeah. just DM someone or WhatsApp someone. How tough, you know, how tough was that to get in touch with him? I think that's what kept the excitement going, if yeah, you ask me, yeah. because we didn't have so much access to each other. I lived in Delhi, then I started flying. I was. Uh, uh, I was a lot in Frankfurt okay. and the, uh, you know in those days we had ISD calls which yeah. the youngsters are not going to even understand you right. know so and yeah. ISD calls were so expensive, expensive yeah right. they were like really expensive and uh, even to talk to each other would mean spending a lot of money you know when you say this <coughs> when you all say this to Ananya who is from a generation the social media they open their phone they know everything who is where yeah. where they are everyone knows that yeah. also swipe, when you say swipe, this yeah. what is their reaction mm. about your love story how you all caught up actually initially I you know I so we our love stories in a time when there were even no mobile phones they just came and we decided yes, yeah. to get married yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know sometimes less is more in a relationship mm. the less yeah. you see each other the better it is mm. sometimes and uh, with her I mean meeting her was such a chance incident. I missed a flight. I landed up at the nightclub. I met her. She actually, I asked her for a phone number which I never wrote down but she just told it to me which I still remember that number. Seven, seven, four, five, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, ours was a very chance kind yeah. of, you know how they say this was just meant to be. Right. I was supposed to be in that place. Timing again. Uh. Yes, I, I, I feel, you know, I, of course Ananya and the generation today is in the golden period of yeah. everything. But, uh, I guess we got away with murder because <laughs> there were no mobile phones yeah, and those, there were no cameras, yeah. there was no one tracking us, yeah. what we did. So life was very carefree and we could get away with a lot of it yeah. and we could make mistakes and learn. Yeah. Right now there's no time there to make no a mistake. Absolutely. I mean, what you say. So, uh, kids, you're missing out on that <laughs> stuff. So the best thing is to keep your mobile away somewhere oh, yeah. and go out. But then how will you, everyone get in touch with you? So exactly. now it's a... It's become a necessity in life to carry why these Why we things. fire them if they don't carry their mobile? You're yes, saying keep yeah. it away and go out like we are like why haven't you carried your mobile? Where are you? Yeah. One thing that you like and dislike about Chunky. I like his uh, sense of humour mm. that he can take a joke on yeah. himself as well. And also I dislike that also about him because sometimes those jokes can go a bit too far on him. And he's okay with and that. he's okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the one thing in romance that's missing in today's day and age? Oh, I, I'm not getting the right word, but uh, the, in today, the magic of distance. the magic of uh, of, of not know, of, of discovering each other. Yeah, yeah the romance has already been discovered yeah. through social media. If you could read someone's mind in the industry, whose mind would you like to read? I'd like to read his mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is he read his mind? <laughs> I don't know his mind yet. I want to tell you, I still don't know his mind. Right. <laughs> after a fight, who says sorry first? <laughs> I say it before the fight, yeah, after the fight. <laughs> who said I love you first? <laughs> to uh, each other? Yeah. So, who said Yeah. Who yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Chunky, but I think I just squeezed it out of him. <laughs> Finally. I was dying to yeah. say it, but I just wanted him to say it first. Complete the sentence, the secret of happy wife is dash. The secret of a happy <laughs> wife is that you are always wrong. <laughs> Except and it. that's acceptable. Except. I have a few fun questions. Yeah. Alright, let's so, do this. About both of you. So let's do this also quickly. Who should I start with? Whoever. Whoever. Your favorite uh, Ritesh's film that was in Marathi. In Marathi? Yeah. I think Levari. Tell me one college that Jinli attended. BMS College. Okay. What is the name? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Andrews. Andrews, yeah. Correct, correct. Who's the person he texts the most apart from you? <laughs> Milab Zaveri. <laughs> is that I, true? I deny this allegation. 
Right. Milab, if you're listening to this, <laughs> this Milab is not true. <laughs> I don't have time for Milab. Oh, so, but that's a lie. Right. Do you want to tell the viewers who don't know what's the meaning of Genelia? What's the meaning of Genelia? It's the combination of a parent's name, Jeanette and Neil. Genelia, mm. and as Genelia says, it's mm. just unusual and special, just like her. <laughs> and as a husband, I have to just agree. <laughs> Genelia, tell me three films that he has done with Akshay Kumar. Houseful, Hey Baby, Houseful Two. Yeah. Three. Three. Four. Four. <laughs> Entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Namaste London. Your favorite Genelia movie? My top favorite is uh, Bumarelu, a Telugu mm. film. Yeah. And second favorite is Jane Tu Jane. Name a film in which Ritesh dressed as a like a woman apna sapna man very well <laughs> she's killing it <laughs> who does uh, she talk to the most apart from you three people that she talks to okay uh, number 1 will be her mom yeah uh, number 2 will be um, nandita and mushtaq shake right and your mom right and my mom of course, yeah, of course. name the actors he mimics very well according to you prancha amit yeah he does amit very well sanjeev Yes, and you. Yeah. Now that you directed her, her biggest strength as an actor. Her eyes. Your eyes. Well done. One habit that you think he should he can change now. Oh, With many all the experiences. Oh my god, time management. It is Time management. Yeah. It, for sure like I am a last minute specialist. Please Why step. did you want to direct? Why did I direct? Before we part, I just want to tell you the truth. Mm. Uh and it's straight from my heart. Uh, that You know, after being married for so many years, <laughs> I wanted one point to tell my wife, "Cut, <laughs> enough." Well done. And at well, some point, she needed to listen to me. Good. <laughs> you made a full film because of yeah. that. Just for that. <laughs> That's a pleasure. And also, I'm telling you, that all those husbands who think that you want to tell your wife enough, I won't listen to this. Do one more, huh. or this is not right. It's just a dream. Yeah. You have to direct. For this dream to come true, he does realize that I'm the producer, right? Right, right. <laughs> See your cameraman is nodding there. He's saying yes. All everyone in the room yeah. is nodding. <laughs>